Well, tonight, Memphis leaders and activists bringing systemic racism into the conversation on police reform. Our Kevin McNamara was there earlier tonight at the National Civil Rights Museum with the solutions from that discussion. A diverse group of policymakers and thought leaders examining the historical connections of systemic racial violence to find solutions for today's challenges. I would like to see folks that are most impacted be the ones that are driving solutions, to be the people that are bringing forth legislation, not asking elected leaders to do something for them, but actually stepping up in positions of power and creating the change that they would like to see. Panelist Eric Cumberbatch from the Center for Policing Equity sees the DOJ investigation of Memphis police as having been a long time coming. But he doesn't expect the end result to be accomplished, even if it incriminates the department. What we're doing is shining the light on what the issues are and then working to build the systems that we know that we need. Um, systems that care for people, systems that promote safety um, and build wellness amongst the population. Panelist and clinical psychologist Dr. Ellen Kirschman works with police all across the country and around the globe. She says problems tend to be the same wherever she goes. It's remarkable how similar police and police families are from place to place when you wouldn't, when you wouldn't expect it. So they, they all tend to resist getting mental health because they think it makes them look weak. The hope is to identify strategies law enforcement can use to better improve community relations and reduce gun violence for both police and regular citizens. We also need more clinicians who are culturally competent to deal with cops, meaning that they know what cops do and why they do it and how to help them because your ordinary kind of therapeutic intervention often doesn't work with cops. They need something a, a lot different. In downtown Memphis, I'm Kevin McNamara.